Mm. Oh, good day. Welcome. What can I help you with? A traveler. I see. Thank you for stopping by. I always welcome the opportunity to speak with visitors from afar. Do you have any specific product in mind? Anything from the shelves that interests you? Or perhaps you're looking for a custom brew? Ah. How flattering. I don't know about the best around, but I can guarantee the experience will be entertaining. There's a wide variety of potions to choose from, and of course, no matter what you choose, the recipe will be tailored with a personal touch. The possibilities are endless, and I must admit, this is quite exciting for me as well. It's been a while since I've had any customers from out of town. Shall we get started right away then? Wonderful. Right this way. The first thing I have to ask you, of course, is what you're looking for in a, looking for in a potion. Intent is the base ingredient of every brew, believe it or not. Your beliefs, desires, and purpose are crucial to the potency of the final product. We have generic formulas, such as bottled emotions, love, hate, joy, etc, etc. Healing drinks, strength and answers, liquid knowledge, and so on and so forth. However, I'm more than willing to personalize a recipe for a price. Within reason, of course. <laughs> so, what do you say? A wise choice. Now, would you describe what kind of potion you'd like? A bottled memory, you say. To absorb memories of the places you visited, to preserve them. Hmm. Yes, I see. You like to trigger instantaneous and vivid visions of your travels. Fascinating. No, I don't believe I've ever had a request like this before. What a novel idea. Very fitting for a traveler. Yes, I've got some ideas for this one. My purpose is established, so let's move on to the ingredients. Are you ready? <laughs> Very good. Now, what you want is memories, specifically, I suppose, the most pleasing ones. Therefore, flowers, roses, lavender, and to forget me not for the memory factor, then dried moon blossoms. Have you seen these before? No? Ah, that's understandable. They only bloom at a specific time under the full moon when the light hits them just the right angle. And they will wilt right afterwards, unless picked within an hour of blossoming. The only way to preserve their beauty properly is through drying them. A bit inconvenient, but they're pretty, aren't they? Hmm, yes. And then a hint of liquid gold, or rather, the common sunbeam. Liquid gold just sounds fancier. <laughs> Moonbeams as well, to balance things out. After all, some of the best memories are made at night. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Quite a lot of sweet, delicate ingredients go into this potion so far. I don't usually make such saccharine recipes, but it's always nice to experiment. The brew will suit you well, I think. Mm hmm? What do I mean by that? Oh, just a bit of professional insight. Shall we say? Custom potions are always fascinating. They have to be tailored not only to the requester's wants, 
but also to their very essence as a vigil, if you will. A potion that works a certain way for one person may not work as well for another. You, however, seem very well suited to Moonflower's sunbeams, lavender, and the like. Ah, you seem a little lost. Just let me clarify. I don't mean that in derogatory sense. Quite the opposite, in fact. What I mean to say is, you seem like a remarkable ind individual. The grace of the moonflower, brightness of the sunbeam, sweetness of the lavender. I rarely feel drawn to so many lovely ingredients for a single custom brew. But here you are. <laughs> no need to look so flustered. I really am being quite truthful. You needn't worry about me trying to butt you up and swindle you out of your money's worth. Or do you? Hmm. In your line of work, I suppose it's better to err on the side of caution. Well, be that as it may, would you like to take a risk and trust me? If so, we can try mixing up that potion now. Lovely. Now, let me see. Here, we have our cauldron, and a dose of nymphs well water to start us off. Would you do the honors of adding the, in the ingredients? Flowers first, then sunbeam, then lavender. Very good. Now this is the part where sometimes goes wrong. My salamanders have been a bit grumpy lately, haven't just come out of hibernation at all. But this potion actually does better for a weak fire, so we should be alright. Hmm, yes. See the color coming through. Bright gold, with that lovely iridescent sheen to it. That'll be from the moonflowers. And the sun is rising nicely as well. Roses can be a bit strong on their own, but for the other flowers, they smell quite sweet. As I said, it's a very fitting potion for you, dear traveler. It's just about done now. Let me just add a few finishing touches. These are a little dangerous for the layperson to handle. Potentially poisonous. You understand. I would hate to cause harm to such a charming customer. And there we have it. You should get one bottleful out of this. <laughs> yes, quicker than you expected. And a very small amount yielded. But you must remember, this is a potion not soup. Different brewing methods, different results. Though, I do admit that a single bottle, no matter the, no matter the size, might not be able enough to cover the whole of your journeys. And, as much as I would love to, I can't brew you another right now at this moment. You see, memory potions are very delicate and require a very specific environment. I suppose you still simply have to come back sometime and buy yourself another bottle. But of course. I take customer satisfaction very seriously. It is partially my fault for not warning you beforehand. Let us compromise then. You can have this bottle free of charge. And if you like, I'll help you break it in. Ah yes, did I forget to explain this part? All potions benefit from being broken in. You do this by using them for their intended purpose, within the first five minutes of their completion. It greatly improves their performance afterwards. We still have a couple minutes left. What do you say? Hmm? I'm glad you think so. In that case, please uncap the bottle. Since it's a memory potion, it should simply absorb the happenings around it once exposed to the open air. Now all we need is a pleasant memory for it to drink in. Hmm, I wonder. What kind of memory to choose? Decisions, decisions. 
Ah, I know. Traveler, have you ever been kissed? It's really nothing to be embarrassed about. One way or the other. But many people have fond memories of kisses. It's a very generically nice sort of memory. Don't you think? And I still owe you for my mistake. Will you let me pay you back, traveler? I was hoping you'd say so. That was a sufficiently good memory. <laughs> Let me check the bottle. Yes, it's functioning perfectly. You now have one memory in there. Only drink a single drop from the bottle, and you will be able to recall the events in perfect detail. Dear, dear. It seems you've already forgotten. We established that today's potion's on the house. <laughs> You're so very charming. Your flustered traveler. Now, use your potion. Keep the cap on tight. I suggest you put it right there, in your bag, so the other items can cushion it. Don't forget, you're always welcome at my shop whenever you need a refill, and I'll gladly help you break in any future bruise. <laughs> Goodbye then, traveler. May we meet again soon. <laughs>